Hi guys, so this is a quick video on LED power supplies. Which ones to choose, how can you tell the quality, which type to choose. So I have a couple of options here. So let's talk about um, the different types that we have. Here we have an internal power supply that has enclosed terminals. So what by that means, it has an end cap covering the terminals. So this can be installed in safe areas where it cannot be touched, so it wouldn't need to go into a racking system or a locked cupboard. Here we have an IP rated type that has a hard wired cable in and a hard wired cable out. So these are ideal for external use, they are IP67, so they can be used and installed externally. You just have to make sure that all joins are IP rated as well. And then here we have what we call an open terminal power supply. So as you can see here, the open terminals can be touched. So these, I'm not an electrician myself, so all, any installation with, with um, transformers and 240 volts must have an electrician install any of this equipment. But from the advice that I have been given from electricians, the power supplies with, a, with the open terminals, they need to be installed into a secured, locked cupboard so you must always check that out there are so many power supplies out at the moment where people see these power supplies these type are cheaper than these type so people go and get the cheapest power supply they then have to be careful where that is being installed because that can be dangerous so you 100% have to check with an electrician where they can be installed so the disadvantage of the open terminal type as well is that usually they have a fan so they can be noisy as well. So if it's in, the, in your home, bar, restaurant, and you have multiple power supplies, or even just one, it does have a fan noise similar to like a computer fan. So that could also be an issue if, if you do, do not need to have any fan noise at all, then you would be able to hear that. So the, after these type, they, then we go to the branding. So it's very hard to determine how good a power supply usually is. So usually how we sort of try to offer the fact that we offer quality power supplies is to use branded names and we offer five year warranty on all power supplies. So the advantage of a good power supply is that if your LED strip is going to last 50,000 hours, you know, 10 years plus, you need to have a power supply that can last the same amount of time as the strip. You wouldn't want to have a power supply that's only lasting six months or a year. So within the 10 years of the LED strip's life, you're changing the power supply 10 times. So a couple of brands out there, one of the biggest manufacturers of power supplies in the industry is Meanwell. So a lot of Meanwell power supplies, they're available with five year warranty, some up to seven year warranty. Some of the sort of lesser quality range have got a two year warranty. So that really is a good indicator. We also supply an in power range, which are all supplied with a five year warranty as well. So with power supplies, I really wouldn't go for it. Well, it depends on the project. If you're looking for a very cost effective option, cheap strip, cheap power supply, and you're happy with just using it an hour or two a day, then you could go with one that has a couple of year warranty, a two year warranty, and that may be fine. But if it's going into a commercial application, it could be running 24 seven, could be running 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, really you should be looking at a power supply with a longer warranty, a five year warranty, using one of the brands, the InPower, Meanwell, or any other sort of larger brands out there. So that it is, is it on the power supplies. So for internal use, you should really be using the enclosed end cap type. For external use, you use the IP67 type. And if you do have a larger project, where you do have racking systems, then these are absolutely fine for that. Just be careful if you are installing a open terminal into a home use or restaurant use or anywhere where it can be touched then that we 100% need to have an electrician to check to put it into a box they have to be checking all of the certificates of where these power supplies can be installed so be careful with that always check the electrician first before you purchase any of your goods um, so thank you very much for watching comment away and I'll try and answer as many questions as I can check out instyleled.co.uk and uh, thank you very much.